Hello and welcome to 3396 Spruce in beautiful Burlington. We're situated across from the school, the playground, the entrance to the ravine walkway on a lovely street, Spruce. This is a great classic backsplit design. It's one of my favorite types of houses because it just keeps going and going. Currently tenanted and we're grateful to the tenants for letting me pop in and do this video. You can see a nice big porch under this whole thing all the way across is a um, cold storage in the basement. We'll get to that later. There's a bowed window there. Here we have the front entrance replaced. All the windows are replaced with vinyl. Got a good size front foyer when we walk in. Water wall closet on that side. You walk in, you face an eat-in kitchen. And off to your right is a extremely large combined living room, dining room. We have some hardwood in the floor here, some mixed vinyl here on the floor. We're gonna go through pretty quickly because I suspect most people are gonna look at this house and think of how they can personalize it. There are some good elements, dishwasher, the stainless steel range, the hood, the windows again, replaced. We have a classic California crown molding ceiling. It's a little burnt out there, ceiling fan. Fridge over here with the pantry. It's kind of inset, which is quite lovely. Lots of space. Very bright in the morning. We're in the afternoon right now, so we're gonna get a lot more light coming in the afternoon. We're actually very late afternoon right now. So it might be dark here and there. So let's come back and around. You'll see a very large living space. You can look on the site for dimensions of rooms. Big picture window. That is a mirrored wall, don't let it fool you. So that's our, that's our wall right there. Good size, full dining room that opens up into a landing that takes you into the splits. Of course, it's a classic back split, and this is what they mean. We've been there. Let's start upstairs. Okay, so again, we're split here to a grade level basement, which is not really a basement at all. It's a lower level. The basement's under us. And then we got a landing up here to the three bedrooms and a big family bath, full size linen closet. Again, a few dated elements, but frankly, this one I, I kind of love, but uh, built-in medicine cabinets. Again, replacement window, bathtub that's built in there, classic tiles. Okay, let's pop into the primary bedroom. Very large, very large. That is a king size, that might even be a California king. South facing overlooks the backyard. Beautiful privacy hedge in there. It's very mature and not out of control. Full size closet. Second bedroom still facing the rear. Double closet. Got almost all of these rooms have these balance curtain balances. Kind of a, a thing they did, 60s and 70s. This one's using good use of space in here. All the bedrooms have ceiling light fixtures and all of this is the hardwood, same strip flooring. The pink room for the gender neutral child. Same balance, west facing, gorgeous. Lots of sun right now coming in the west. I haven't even turned on this light, my apologies. That's our second floor. Now you'll see access to the attic and some storage through that way. Let's go to the at-grade rear level, which is right here, walkouts there, but there's also a side entrance. And right at your side entrance is a very conveniently located three-piece big window and a walk-in shower stall. And then there is the entrance to the lower level full-size bedroom. No closet in this one, but a nice window. Still lots of natural light and you're on grade. You don't, you're not in a basement. And then here we have parquet flooring, which needs a little TLC paneling. Same kind of balance that goes all the way across. Wood burning fireplace, massive, fantastic. Two light fixtures, big walkout right to the yard. Very private, very nice. Huge room, huge. Big enough for a jungle, a jungle gym, 
<laughs> all together and and all the fixins so again we've got this closet with a cedar cedar closet keep all your furs so somebody can spray paint them and then we uh, we walk down now this is the basement so this would typically be called the rec room so i don't know what we're going to call this we'll call this the rec rec room we got two windows these ones are more original uh, but they do have properly lined window wells ceiling tiles a little bit of leakage from historic use this is the entrance to the crawl space which goes under all of the rec rooms it keeps going and going back there and it keeps going this way and this way i've already been through if you want measurements and everything other other than that it's a clean good pour good looking block a abs and copper you can see joists look good so this room is all paneling oh what i could do with this room ceiling height's pretty good i'm six feet so it's pretty good so it's going to be under eight feet I've got all the measurements again in the listing. I'm going to call this a den, also known as a dry bar. Here we are in the cold cellar. I mentioned that this one was under the, uh, the front porch. Then we can walk this way or the other way into the utility room. This is an old appliance, non-functioning. Newer furnace, newer hot water, direct vent. Two fixtures here, storage, storage, 100 amp panel, great looking panel. We'll see the inspection report, but it looks like aluminum wiring to me. We've got a dryer, a newer washer, front loading. Everything has been extremely well maintained. It's an older window. But whenever anything goes wrong, this landlord is it's professionally managed and they are on the job. So we're really happy with the tenants and, and, uh, and given the dated nature of the house and everything and the fact that they're starting to get ready to go. I'm really happy with this property and we, uh, we hope that you are interested in it. Please reach out for more details.